Moments away on making the video, we follow Depeche Mode deep into the heart of West Hollywood to bring you the exclusive behind the scenes story of their first ever performance video. The Depeche Mode saga began over 20 years ago and is one that has seen the band hurdle both professional and personal adversity only to emerge as one of the most influential and groups of recent times. With a discography that reads like a music evolution bible, Depeche Mode have consistently remained one step ahead and aside from the rest of the pack, successfully carving a niche all their own. This year marks the release of their 14th album, Exciter. Branching out from an almost exclusive working relationship with Anton Corbin, Depeche Mode enlisted French video director Stéphane Sedenoui for the album's first single, Dream On. And now, the task of directing the video for single number two falls to Australia's John Hillcote, famed for his work with the Manic Street Preachers, Placebo, Bush, Suede, and of course, Nick Cave. We're um, shooting a video with John Hillcote for a song called I Feel Loved from a new album, Exciter. I've expressed interest in Depeche Mode for many, many years. I gave them a bunch of reels to look through and the person they were most turned on by was John's work. We didn't actually ask for any other scripts because we were very keen on, on working with him. He often works on the dark side of subject matters and I think that's what perhaps appealed to the band the most. His videos are kind of a little bit twisted. That's why we chose him. If you analyse the lyrics, the verses, are, um, have a, a, quite a dark side to them. This song is kind of, in a way, quite poppy. You know, it's quite uh, dancey and stuff. So I wanted to, you know, I thought John would complement that really well. I just thought uh, if figures of hate and aggression were somehow subverted and transformed into feeling love, um, then that would make uh, an interesting dynamic. It's us in a very small seedy club uh, with lots of police and dogs and, and lots of action. So I think it's going to be good, nice and sweaty, fast cut and should be exciting. The big challenge for me is that uh, this is the first Depeche Mode video that's uh, got a real performance from the band. Fashion police. <laughs> I wanted to find something that um, uh, juxtaposed and contrasted um, the feeling of love, which is hate and aggression. I'm uh, an LAPD officer and I'm working with a, an attack dog. I thought LAPD, because they're so infamous for their kind of tough, hardline approach, and then uh, attack dogs because that's uh, such a kind of uh, carnal, animal, aggressive kind of image. My name is JP Fox and my role in today's shoot is producer, line producer. Well, the story starts out here where we see the police officers. In a wider shot on the front, we see somebody outside, a, a woman kind of doing some cleaning, and, and you know, again, we see the dogs. Most of these dogs here are trained in what's called Schützen training. It's a German type of training that you use for training attack dogs. She then sees them coming down the street toward the club. She turns around and she actually kind of hits them with the hose by accident. Not hits them with the hose, but squirts them with the hose by accident as they're coming in. And then they're kind of all growling and terrible and, you know, angry. What they want the dog to do is fire up on cue, which means barking, snarling on cue. They have one shepherd that actually will turn on you if it's not released. There's an element of danger there. We're in Hollywood, that's what we live for, so. They called me Trinity, Trinity Brooks. And we're looking for some guys from Pesh Mode. Those are, the, those are the guys we're looking for. And action! We were just entering the club from the street 
Uh, several of us went straight ahead with the dogs, and I had to go up the steps. We had to get the dogs all pumped up. I tell you, you can feel the strength in those things pulling you up the steps. Well, I had a bunch of them behind me, and I didn't get bit in the ass. Yeah, it was, it was pretty scary at first, but when you get used to the dogs, it's like real cool. I'm used to them now. <laughs> I'm Lionel Carson, and I'm playing one of the officers. I shot a scene where I had my attack dog for coming in. And action! And we've got... My dog was turning on me in the hallway. Nobody, because the trainer was outside on the other side of the door, and the door was closed. So it was just me and the dog, and the dog was starting to not listen to me. So that was kind of, <laughs> yeah, that was kind of scary. Stand by for some semi-interesting news. How are you? Uh, I'm Barry, I'm the first AD on the shoot. Uh, it's like being the sergeant major on a, in a little war. Guys, shut the Oh. So my role uh, on the music video is production designer, art director, and basically we kind of put the look together for the video. We do everything with uh, you know tools and cutting things up and and putting up drapes and hanging lanterns, and we can do it, everything from painting to screw guns to scaling walls to uh, hanging off of balconies. Morning work started at 4 a.m. We've gone on till it's I've gone past with our lunch break. Go for Julie. Do you have all your people eating? Everyone but me. Okay, um, would you like us to put a plate aside for you? No, that's okay, just some coffee and dessert. <laughs> some dessert. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Yeah, it would have been nice to have two days. You know, I just want everybody to know, this should have been a two-day shoot. We're um, trying to recreate uh, the Chinatown feel, um, club atmosphere, um, depression mode, just um, in, in an unusual element with really, with a lot of red and warm colors. When we come back, there'll be a couple of hours filming of the police arriving interior inside the club, and then we start to get into some performance stuff. Um, definitely, I get highs. I get really excited. When I was awarded the job, I was super excited. It was like I couldn't even sleep last night. I probably got an hour of sleep. Breathe and smile. <laughs> We're here at the Opium Den. I actually used to come to this place years ago. I was told, first of all, my call time was 8 a.m. and then it went back to like 10.30 and then I got a call this morning um, that it was gonna be like a few hours later and I was like, what are we doing? I think John's pretty confident about what he's got and what he's gonna get from us. It seemed to me that it would be best for us to be like in a live performance with some fans and stuff like that. Um, you know, and I want to use a live mic and stuff like that and get this as much energy into it with the fans. We're here and we're doing it, so let's make the most of it, right? Eh? Coming up after the break, Andy and Martin finally make it on set to join Dave for the video's exhilarating band performance, plus the brand new Depeche Mode video in full. MTV Europe. Europe. Rocks. Europe. 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 <laughs> Dogs are like keeping a crowd, crowd control. In check, crowd control. We have to use dogs here down in Cali. They make their way into the club. And then everybody in the club feels loved, therefore makes friends with the angry dogs. To see those dogs actually tamed and uh, transformed um, was like going from black to white. We're doing a kind of a scene that requires sweatiness and dancing and perspiring. We wanted a very kind of um, uh, textural, um, uh, really kind of like feeling the heat, feeling the energy of the performance. We've applied oil to the face, baby oil, to help repel the water as we spray the water to help them sweat. And since this was the first performance video by Depeche Mode, 
uh, they wanted it, to, we wanted it to be uh, a bit more rough. The lighting that we were doing was deliberately enhancing this effect. John wanted it to be very colourful, so um, he wanted specific colours. The reds, the, the hot neons, very warm, hot colours. I'm Ramla Frediani and um, I played uh, one of the club kids. Playback! I actually kissed a cop. That was my, my main job today, but one of the club kids that was really happy and feeling loved. <laughs> we played with different speeds. A lot of slow motion to get a very kind of dreamy, again, a hot, um, heightened reality. When I met up with John, <laughs> uh, Hilco, the guy that's doing the video, directing it, um, my first impression was that he had no hair. Um, it didn't really matter to me that much, but um, did, it, did it bother no, you? It no. There's going to be um, like some an audience in there, and I'm just basically singing a song to them. We built a set that's supposed to look like downtown LA, sort of Chinatown, but we couldn't film down there because of some up reasons. And um, the mafia. Yeah. The dogs come in. And they kind of got to break the whole thing up, and um, right. I attack the dogs, you know, being the <laughs> kind of guy I am. did a scene in there with the dogs, with the attack dogs. They're like ferociously sort of barking at me and stuff. Why well, I just like ignore them. I wasn't scared at all. Some people would be really scared by that. Me, totally relaxed. You know, it's all rock and roll. The track is still like double time because a lot of this stuff is going to be sort of in slow-mo but I'll be singing in time. Yeah, the director's telling me a lot of things but to be quite honest I don't listen to him. I just kind of do my own thing. Do I? That's a miracle. Well, we've just arrived. It's been nothing. We've been filming all day. We've got the, the easiest call time um, we've ever had in our whole career of making 40 videos. It's now five o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, we've just turned up. I think Dave's been at it all day as usual. Isn't that the best thing about not being a front man, though? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can turn up whenever you want. Yeah. I usually probably cope the best in videos. I quite I enjoy it. He gets all the best juicy action. I'm the star. <laughs> Let's just get that straight right now. With sort of the, the, the reserve axes. I think Fletcher might have a hard time with it. They don't really enjoy it that much. For us it's like five o'clock full time, good. That's all we think about. We don't care about the result. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to bitch and moan about anything. On a glorious day like today, it'll, if we were outside it would be too hot. Are you listening to me? You're not. <laughs> <laughs> the video that we're shooting at the moment, a lot of it is shot at double speed. God bless you all. Boogie on. Playback. You're rolling. <laughs> enough difficulty at single speed so it came as a bit of a shock to me I didn't expect it to be quite that fast I don't even worry about like trying to do it fiddly it was a little bit it was actually funny when you looked over and was like ah. <laughs> this is Andrew his name's Andrew Philpot, and uh, this is our drama uh, for today. He used to play in a band called The Doors. 
familiar with them. It wasn't, wasn't actually the Doors, it was the Australian Doors, which actually are like a cover band of the Doors. Um, and he wasn't actually in them. He saw them, right? Yeah. You, you saw them once and thought about being in them. And that clinched it for us. Can't wait to see what he can do, really. Uh, where are you from? Uh, Ireland. Oh, he's yeah. from Ireland. Special is my favorite band. I think that uh, you know there's a lot of groups that come and gone, but they're one band that stuck around the whole distance. They are amazing performers. I love Depeche Mode, definitely. They are the originators. I think they're the biggest electronic band that ever was. I love the to listen to them in like almost like a dark room of some sort and just close my eyes. A lot of other bands, you don't have that kind of expertise and experience of just being able to turn it on and getting it. Ready? This song was like one of the first songs uh, that was was written for the album. Mostly, I think about visually where it takes me, to be quite honest, and then I and then I can get into a, a sort of part for it. I'm not gonna. Uh, go into explaining the lyrics. We don't generally like to explain the lyrics. I'll try and explain it to you. Do you know when you feel absolutely like and you feel the worst you've ever felt in your life and then you some, somehow you think the universe must like me for making me feel like this. <laughs> At the moment, the vibe in the band is, is just fantastic. It's just very, very enjoyable. The band, I, I don't really know them. It's so nice to be back, uh, really enjoying ourselves and, um, and enjoying each other's company, and uh, let's hope it continues. Here we are back in London, um, uh, having done many uh, arduous long hours um, in the line of duty to get a good video. There you go, that's what it all comes down to folks, so um, remember your blue boxes and um, uh, have fun making videos.